Hadi bakalım ne zaman başlıyor? Başladı. <gülüyor> Have we started? Yes. Alo, 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 alo. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, loveliest of the people of the loveliest channel. <gülüyor> uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, are we in? Are we live? I don't know whether we're live. Are we live? Bana söyle, bana söyle. <gülüyor> okay. Now. <clears throat> uh, today uh, I would like to make müteber with you guys. And now the team is now freaking out because whether there's uh, the sound is on or off. Uh, and kind of very stressed. Bahar is like <laughs> here. Uh, and um, uh, uh, today we're going to talk about uh, müteber and us the team, how we have uh, come here, and I have uh, many questions that you have asked here, and I'm going to uh, try to answer those. But before we start, uh, I want to make some uh, holes in the eggplant and turn on my stove. Uh, for this recipe, I will need uh, four eggplants, and uh, I have uh, here, this is called kozmatik in Turkish, Uh, which is uh, to make it uh, charred. Uh, but actually, uh, in your home, you can just like put the eggplants like this and they will be charred. But if you have something similar or uh, you can use the wire in the oven, that would also work. Uh, why do I make holes? Uh, the reason is uh, there there's air and a lot of uh, water in the eggplant and the, then the air will, is going to explode. And if there isn't a place where uh, it can escape, It might puff and then it might be dangerous for the eyes and the face and everywhere it pops to. So I make holes with the, uh, my knife and now these are going to be charred for 20 to 25 minutes. I'm going to turn them uh, one by one. At the time, um, I would like to answer some of your questions. Şimdi, uh, uh, I will start with Amal Omar. And uh, uh, he asked, uh, were you a chef before, Refika? How did you and your team meet? Everyone is so nice, energetic, and uh, you all seem so close. Yes. Uh, no, I wasn't a chef before. Um, uh, and uh, at the age of 13, uh, at the age of 29, I used to manage a hospital. Uh, I used to be the general manager of a hospital Uh, with 350 uh, workers uh, and uh, uh, what I had shingles, high blood pressure and shingles again. Uh, shingles is like this uh, uh, nerve ending um, uh, disease which pops up when your immune system is down, if you have cancer or if you're so down. Uh, then um, I have, then I decided to um, Uh, leave everything uh, in a way uh, then I went into a very very deep depression. It was so deep and at that time the cooking saved me uh, and uh, the recipes I made uh, became uh, actually this book uh, and then uh, the book turned into uh, a newspaper column the column turned into a TV show And uh, then everything turned into YouTube, which I love so much. Uh, and uh, here I am. Uh, and uh, how did the team meet? Uh, here uh, I have four people, but our team is about or over 32 people. Are we 30? I think we're 32. Something around that. Something around that. And uh, uh, the uh, the oldest one is Anadolu, which is like the general manager. She manages everything, the money, us, uh, and uh, whatever is out there. And uh, Anadolu is the first comer. I yes. am the second comer. Yes, uh, and, and you tell the story. You tell the story. No, no, you, you tell the story. No, and, you tell the story. No, thank you. Okay. Uh, and uh, then uh, Bahar came uh, to the first TV show uh, as, uh, uh, as a photographer. And I used to study uh, the, in uh, high school, uh, like black, uh, uh, dark room photography, black and white photographs. I used to like, I used to take really nice portraits. And then, uh, so, so I said like, the photographer should be so good. Like I'm so, um, 
um, picky, picky <laughs> on that. Picky, picky is the right word. And then uh, she came, and uh, in one of her pictures, there was this onion which was really good, and I fell in love with the onion. And then I did everything for her to come to the show, and then she stayed. Uh, we had this building. It was uh, ten years ago. It was the first. Um, Shay, uh, incubation center, but it was, we didn't know the name incubation, we called it a bird's nest. And uh, in every room, there was someone who was uh, under 35 and were establishing their first jobs. And she was uh, uh, this girl who was under 35 and uh, leave the job of um, what? Uh, I studied anthropology and I did marketing for almost 10 years. And then I moved to Spain with my boyfriend. Uh, and there, I fell in love again with my old love, photography. I started shooting again. And when it was time to go back, go back to Turkey, I said, I'm going to be a food photographer. I don't know why. I just said that. <laughs> I wanted to be that. I decided uh, and um, prepared a portfolio and started for working for them for two years. I didn't get any jobs. I worked for him, for that, for this. Uh, for him, who is I, I worked for a guy who okay. was doing um, fashion photography. Um, and then... By the way, the eggplants are getting softer. Mm -hmm. Okay. One day, of course, I uh, improved my portfolio in the meantime. One, a friend of mine said, okay, there's this girl. He, she's going to start a TV show. She's just like us. She just has some... They could say, I don't know what to do in English. Uh, she yeah. uh, shows so much from here. <laughs> that was that's the guys. I'm kind of you know yeah. fat, so uh, said, only place that I can show is around here. So come on. Okay. <laughs> she said you should send your portfolio, portfolio, and I did, and somehow uh, she liked it. So everything started like that. And uh, then we did. We had. We, it was really hard years. We uh, uh, did the TV show, but the TV show uh, was it was very successful. But then. Uh, People said, like, uh, do the same thing, do the same thing over and over. And I, I really didn't want to do it. That's another story. And uh, we stayed. And then she went into taking films uh, and uh, became our, our director for the whole team. And that's basically it. And uh, I also want, want to share a story uh, with uh, uh, our, like, my uh, right hand, my uh brother uh my love uh my uh well, my, my one and only the wrong way. <laughs> my one and only brock uh and uh you tell your own story sir i think it was the spring of 2014 there was a big event and Zefika had a speech there and after that i went to I walked to her to meet her, which is not common for me. And she said, <laughs> okay, come visit our kitchen one day. And and it goes like that. <laughs> Guys, uh, uh, in some of the comments, I say, please, when you come to Turkey, visit us. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, that's an offer that is not like to be polite. That's for real. And sometimes for if you come and stay, uh, say visit, you might come and stay. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, he's a great red chef. Uh, he's a great, great companion uh, and great soul, in fact. So that's that's the most important thing. Every time I see him, even when I'm like sad, and today I'm really sad, by the way, because my dog is kind of sick. And but whenever he's around, I know that I'm safe. So. <laughs> and, and also, if you noticed. We are all wearing the same <laughs> today, just for you. And as a team, we are cheesy. <laughs> That's for sure. And uh, you cannot see him right now. Uh, can I have a mirror or something to show him? No. Um, yeah. Uh, show no, no, I, no, no. Will you show Inan? Yes, wow. I will. OK, uh, Bahar will. Uh, and Inan, uh, uh, he's the director of photography. He creates the lighting, uh, all the scenes, and uh, He's this great guy uh, who doesn't like speaking a lot, but lately uh, be, be, uh, we uh, started to have um, Shandar's um, singing lessons so that he will be more out loud. Not that uh, he need to be, but uh, uh, um, uh, like hearing your voice in a different way helps so much uh, for the soul as well. So uh, now we started 
these music lessons? Let me ask you a question from here, no? Okay. What's your major in uh, Shay? Uh, whose question was it? Uh, uh, King King. What King was King. your major in university? Psychology. I studied psychology. Another question. Of course. Uh, We, we, we. Can I show the eggplants at the same time? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yo, well, just a second, let me come. Okay. And the eggplants are now becoming soft here. But as you can see, when you turn it, like this part is not so soft yet, or this part. Um, cook, in, cook them in such a way that they're all soft everywhere. Okay. Come on. Yes, another question, Bahar. Of course. Uh, what type of dishes would you typically make for a big family? Ruby asks. What type of dishes I make for a big family? Uh, uh. Uh, always. For example, today we're also going to eat. Uh, in Turkey, it's Ramadan for everyone who celebrates uh, Ramadan. Uh, um, I think we have how many minutes, Inan? 20, 15? 15. 15 minutes. Uh, we have this fasting for the month. Uh, and um, my this like the dish that I would always make, my comfort food would be köfte, which is meatballs. And uh, there are two different kinds of kind of meatballs. One is on the channel. You can find it is uh, in as like if you search for meatballs. The other one I haven't made it yet, uh, and it's it looks like. For example, when it's with Shay, uh, potatoes, it looks like this. I don't know when. All right. Anyways. Let me find it then. Huh? Yeah. In a pressure cooker, it looks like this, for example, and so good. And in Turkey, a classical like dinner would be, uh, we would start with soup, always with soup. Uh, and it would be the most famous one is the lentil soup, and I made it. You can check it on the channel. Uh, and then we will always have some kind of pilav. It could be either rice or bulgur pilav. And then uh, some main course, which is a watery dish usually, which has vegetables and meat. Uh, the meat is would be less, but uh, it will uh, create all the taste. Or mezes. Uh, then uh, we'll have some dessert. I have uh, I'll and salad. something. Yes. Question. Yes. Is that your book? How many books do you have? Uh, I have... Five books, four totally written by me. Uh, the fifth one is uh, the Bulgur book, which is together with uh, Nursanti. It's actually it's, it's her recipes uh, cooked in our kitchen. And, And they, are they sell, uh, on sale on Etsy? Uh, they are not on sale. This one is. I think this one is, but this is just Turkish. The first one, my, the first one, which started everything which saved me from uh, myself, my depressed self, is this book. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Shay, they say you are too delicious. Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> who said it? I, I can't remember. They, they asked if I'm singing, yes, I am. Um, Any, Shay? <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, this one is all done. Every every place is soft. This is all done, but some others haven't been. Now I'm going to put this into a hammam, which is like warm and humid place, which is uh, a cup closed, and this will slowly come one by one. Yes. Another question. Uh, which is your other favorite cuisine other than Turkish? Shakshi asks. Shakshi. It's Indian cuisine. I love Indian cuisine and. Hmm, Shay. Uh, um, uh, Indian cuisine and um, oh, Asian. Asian fusion. Asian fusion. Uh, do you feel closer to Cyprus cuisine or Anatolian cuisine? Hmm. <laughs> that's a tricky one. Who, who is, that's a mother tricky one. Mother or father? Uh, mother or father, yes. Uh, I feel closer to the Cyprus cuisine because it's like it's really what I've grown up with. But um, I explore the Anatolian cuisine uh, like a foreigner uh, being amazed uh, to 
the origins because unfortunately even for the Turks even for the people who are living in Turkey uh, the region the foods in uh, different regions are slightly different and uh, in the old days in Istanbul when like in uh, back in the 80s uh, we wouldn't have these variations and it wasn't so uh, it wasn't a, a casual thing to go to Antep Antakya or Urfa for, uh, to get these great dishes and the central Anatolia is Uh, has the harshest uh, weather conditions and that affects the cuisine and uh, the cuisine is highly on fat and bulgur uh, so that's like that's less a uh, kayseri has this amazing thing but uh, so everywhere else that i am exploring is as if uh, like i have i haven't grown up with them totally but and it's for and this is for uh, for everyone in turkey The uh, the food culture is so big and so different, so very different that uh, you cannot find anyone who would say, "No, I know all those, and I have grown up with all those." It's impossible. You wouldn't be able to find. It's so different. So, I'm not sure whether I'm able to say. Anyways, yes. Other questions. All these eggplants are done, guys. So I turned the uh, heat off. Uh, by the way, if you, I don't know, I I don't see the questions now. But if like other eggplants, like the big ones, the fatter ones, the smaller ones, all the ones would work. As you can see, all soft. This is the important thing. Now, this goes to hamam to, uh, for the meat of the uh, uh, shay eggplants to turn into shay. Uh, get away from the skin. So this will for a few seconds. Yes, another question. Yeah, I have. Um, uh, Essential herbs and spices of the Turkish food. Uh, şey, bahar. Let me show you them, my drawer, my herb drawer. Uh, put it. Uh, red pepper, black pepper. Uh, these are the ones, you know, um, Çörekotu, nigella is something that is very common that I use. Zahter is a, a special mixture. I want to do it on the channel. This even has melon seeds inside. It's amazing. Uh, sumak. Sumak, actually, I know so, so many people are asking sumak. I'm going to sell them on Etsy as well. We don't sell normally in Refikada sumak, but uh, it's for people to get it everywhere in the world. I want to do it. This is um, karanfil. Uh, uh, clothes. clothes. Clothes is very common. Uh, not a uh, shay. Kishnish. Um, coriander. Coriander is very common. Nutmeg is uh, not so common, but used to be very common. Of of course. It uh, was very common in the Ottoman time, but people forgot it now. Yes. Mm -hmm. And sesame seeds. These are like uh, different from the Indian cuisine. Uh, Turkish cuisine has plain, direct uh, herbs, uh, spices. Uh, in Indian cuisine, it's uh, different kinds of uh, spices, mi spice mixtures that are used, and it differs in culture. But in Turkey, it's, uh, so you can get, you can do all the recipes in a milder way or very uh, in other ways, like uh, more uh, tartan, uh, more cinnamony, or you can use five spice, all spice, all together. That's that's different. That's different. And I use a lot of spices, but I like using them not as a mixture, but like one dominant, and then it gets around your. And the other one opens a little later on, and so it's in the mouth. Uh, they keep asking about the shishas uh, on Etsy. Would they be available again? Yes, they will be available. <laughs> they are handmade, guys. Uh, and there's only one person who makes that it in, in Antep. So uh, we ran out of it. I know it's, it will be there. And what we are trying to do is lower the um, custom prices mm -hmm. as well. And we're working really hard on it uh, so that I because really like it's we are on Etsy, not for us to earn money, but uh, for uh, uh, to, for everyone to get uh, the beauty of these uh, of this uh, geography. And what we produce, yes. Uh, kishnish, is it raisin? No, uh, no. coriander. Coriander is uh, like coriander seeds uh, are. Uh, we, have, we have kishnish in the fridge, I guess. No, we don't. No, we do, we do. Do we do? We do, we do. Uh, uh, I have it in the garden if you like. 
Um, anyways, uh, I'm going to add, maybe educate us about pesti. Ooh, uh, another video maybe, guys. Uh, what's your most favorite Indian dish to eat and make? Oh, uh, two things. One is cauliflower curry, and the other one is uh, the thing that I ate in um, Goa, red snapper tandoori. Uh, I cannot forget that, and and it's it's one of the best things I've ever eaten. It was so beautiful. Uh, what's your favorite foreign food dish? It's another question by Tanya Huston. Um, that would be probably red, uh, not uh, she, black cod uh, by Nobu. I know I I I am nomerating uh, black cod because of uh, this like overly um, uh, haunted now. Uh, but uh, the memory of uh, eating the black cod from Nobu is amazing. When will you cook simit burak? Or you and burak? When, when will we cook simit burak? Soon, I guess, no? Soon. Whenever, okay. Uh, soon, soon, very soon. <laughs> Another question. Varma. Mm. So basically, so I have to go back to cooking, I guess, huh? Uh, what is, yeah, what are the... Uh, Komikçeyle sormuyor musun? What are the things in Medina? Huh? What are the things in Medina? Maybe you can repeat that. What are the things in Meza? What does that mean? With the, this Meza, the Macheta. Uh, ingredients. I have just uh, made uh, uh, charcoal the, uh, eggplants. You can do it in the oven as well. Now I have cut them. Uh, I have sure. cut them here. Uh, and what I'm going to do, use a spoon. Sure. Do they hear from the snoring? Not probably. Any comments on that? No. No. no Good. Someone asked, how is Meze the best of doing? <laughs> huh? She's on holiday. <laughs> she went for a uh, Shay, uh, for a holiday. Uh, Wilhelmine asked, I'm waiting for the hundred recipes. Yeah, Wilhelmine, the special hi to you. Giving out the message. Yes. Yeah, special hi to Wilhelmine because I think he posted like hundred uh, comments. Wilhelmine? Mm -hmm. Is he he or she? I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know, but he's from India. Okay. Hi, Wilhelmine. Uh, this dish goes to you. <laughs> and uh, any, um, uh, mm -hmm. uh, no, do. I'm a she. She says. I'm a she. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They said he, I said she. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, guys, I'm cleaning the um, she, eggplants like this. Uh, taking the black parts out. I'm going to show it once again. Uh, now, this is the eggplant. I make an incision in the middle like this. I, I open it like that. Okay? Mm -hmm. From the beginning. I do not cut this part because it helps me. Uh, to hold it from here so that I can do this easily. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's okay. This is... When it's overcooked, this might happen. It's okay. Another question, Burak. Greg asks, when is the best time of year to visit Istanbul? The best time of the year to visit Istanbul would be uh, springtime, uh, which is around now. But uh, also in summer, it's not very, very hot. Uh, actually, depending on where you come from, but it's uh, around 30 degrees until the August, 30, 35 maximum. And uh, it's very beautiful. But in spring, nowadays, I, I want to take you maybe for next week or the week later to the school that I grew up in, uh, my high school. And now the flowers open, the wisteria, um, she, um, elderflowers, elder flowers, uh, and uh, um, uh, 
Uh, Len lentil deal. No, <laughs> not lentil. Uh, linden, linden, <laughs> linden, uh, linden flowers. Imagine yes, the smell. Ima like maybe you might not like linden as a drink, but linden and its flowers, it's amazing. Walking around Istanbul with the smell of the linden is so good. And uh, once I was inspired because like, uh, the flower is so good, but they, they, when you make tea, the, the smell is not so the same because you need some kind of coolness. So I, what can I do with the coolness? And I made an ice cream, linden ice cream, and it was that so was good. Very good. And it was so good, so good. Uh, which are your favorite kitchen tools, must-haves? Which ones you cannot live without? The things that I cannot live without is, of course, my spoons, my shimshirs here. My shimshirs. Uh, these ones, unfortunately, I cannot find them in Turkey. This is a Kuzi Pro. Kuzi Pro. Kuzi Pro and uh, it's the best quality. It's probably 15 years old. If you have, like, uh, if you uh, get these silicone things, please take it Kuzi Pro. It's so good, so good. Uh, my tongues. Um, this one, this this baby uh, like looks very simple, but it's very good with burgers when you get a burek and etc. So they're really good. Uh, pestle and mortar, of course, of course, and my knives. Uh, those are the ones. Yes. Another question. Uh, where can we visit you in Istanbul? In Istanbul, we are in Kuzguncuk. Maybe you see the videos, the, the nice the building. The building is the, uh, um, if you haven't watched it, um, please watch the, the first video that we have posted is with Alex, the French guy cooking. Uh, um, he, uh, when he came, I, like I showed him, uh, I, the place is like this very old building. It's actually a Jewish uh, building made in 1923 uh, by a Greek architect called Simotas in a Muslim country. So uh, the building has three dates in the uh, uh, entrance. It's 1923 in um, uh, uh, Western, <laughs> Western <laughs> it's uh, um, yeah, in uh, Christian calendar, actually, it's Christian calendar. And it's 5,864. Four, I think it was, I'm unsure, and it's Jewish calendar, and uh, with the Arabic letters 13, uh, 32, which is the um, Muslim calendar. So it's it, it's in Kuzguncuk, which is um, like, uh, has a mosque, a synagogue, and a, um, uh, church. a, a and church, actually two different churches. One is an Armenian, one is a Greek, they all come together and share a garden and uh, a world like this used to uh, used to be uh, actually, uh, at, especially at the early Ottoman times uh, when there was nothing called a race, when uh, the religions, okay, they were different, uh, things were happening bad about religions, but they were able to live together with no worries. Uh, and then this, after this uh, nationalism thing came up, uh it was very bad for the world for ages i believe it's now anyway so uh, kuzguncuk stands for uh, a place where everyone has a seat on the table and it's now for my country it's not just like these different religions it's for the different like the kurds turks everyone in uh, with love uh, it's love is so strong love is contagious uh, love is so good so uh, what we're trying to do through cooking uh, we want to share our love uh, and our respect and our respect uh, to coexist together. So that's why uh, my studio is in Kuzguncuk. And if you come to Istanbul, you should come and visit Kuzguncuk. It's one of the most beautiful places in the world. And it is a very nice phosphorus view from the top. Mm, and that's it. Uh, do you grow everything uh, in your garden? Oh, uh, I wish I could, but no, because I live in an apartment now and we have like a small garden, uh, 30 square meters, maybe smaller than that. <laughs> maybe smaller than that. So it's very limited. My mom, uh, maybe I take you in summer there. My mom has a bigger garden, but still it's not enough. 
it's, that it's our garden. like it's every girl's dream to have a, a big uh, garden and uh, uh, hope one day uh, as a team actually like Erkan uh, you cannot see him in, he's love he's like he does the social media and we have this uh, hope uh, that one day we uh, 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 buy a land big land uh, and then we all have houses there and we do the cows the sheep the chickens and uh and we do the cooking and uh raise our kids that way so hopefully maybe one day sharing cultures sharing food sharing traditions live alongside one another in peace wishing we can achieve this again someday and live in love we uh, will achieve it someday love is very strong guys the only thing we shouldn't you lose is our hope because when the hope is gone everything is gone uh, uh and uh, we're going to hope and wish that like the dark side has a plan but the goodness also has a different plan and uh, it's it's growing in us and believe in that light uh let we should all believe in that light because otherwise uh we'll lose yes our uh, say nowadays we have a saying it's uh, goodness is more contagious than ever any bahar loves that yeah goodness is very contagious uh, let me show you those garlic okay i i have crushed two garlics uh this is the slowest that i have cooked so far probably <laughs> okay so we have two garlics here all the eggplants here chopped and well cooked yes okay. and now what's next someone asked butter who, who was oh, that Wilhelmine. Wilhelmine. <laughs> now it's your turn dear and um i'm going to have it's in the fridge, it's in the fridge. okay but the wrong stove is on <laughs> yes what's your favorite thing about youtube what's my favorite thing about youtube being able to be with you guys uh uh it was unimaginable for us to be able to reach uh there and when i had this tv show it was very good in ratings for example and but people didn't want uh, you to take a risk and do something new and change it and etc uh but here we are on youtube and there's nothing between us except burak and bahar <laughs> and uh shay and so uh we can cook together uh, we can talk about these things we cannot talk about these things on television or maybe in instagram as well because like it has to be short and this and that and you can't be cheesy on me <laughs> yeah you are cheesy delicious che you are cheesy okay <laughs> okay we can be cheesy on tv i think people are cheesy on tv but in a different way smelly cheesy anyway uh I have a, a handful of pistachios, guys, uh, and I'm melting the butter together with the pistachio. I'm going to also throw some of the pistachios here. Wait. Yes, and I can answer some other question. Can we have more live streams in the future? Did you like it? That's a question. How many people are watching? Uh, 500 at the moment. Oh, super. Uh, uh, are you enjoying how would if you if you want us to be different do you want me to be faster or slower do you know Please how tell. many minutes it's been how many yeah, you guess. Uh, uh, don't look at the clock <laughs> okay what's your favorite istanbul recipe Fav uh, favorite istanbul ah guys unfortunately now we cannot make it now i have put the pistachios and the butter like this okay and what i'm going to do is put some of it back to here like this it was a tablespoon of butter and some pistachios and what i'm going to do i'm going to throw in the garlic together with the pistachios now it starts to smell great and what one thing that i forgot to do is put some salt uh to the eggplants to the eggplants yes and now on the lowest heat, uh, the garlics are cooking. And here I have five tablespoons of yogurt. Bar, if you coming. want. Coming. 
And I'm yeah. to that, I'm going to add, sorry, one, two, three tablespoons of tahini, some salt. Okay. Some more salt. Okay. Done. And I'm going to make it creamy. What can I use instead of pistachio? Uh, walnuts. Any kind of nuts would do. Uh, and if you don't have pistachios, even any, if you don't have any nuts, you can also not use them as well. Uh, it gives that nutty taste. I'm going to ask uh, uh, Burak to help me a little. Now, Bahar, come. Uh, coming. Coming. Now, uh, smell. it's smelling great. Oh, hold on. It's smelling great. Now I'm going to add uh, the eggplants. Uh, I haven't cut the eggplants as much as I Anyways. This is a lot of fun. Done. Whoa! Okay. Whoa! Whoop. Whoa! Okay. Now, now with the garlics and the butter, I turn the heat off. Oh. Okay. And it's becoming more and more heavenly. Is this the baba ganoush actually? Uh, I think there's no, there's a no. quite uh, confusion about the eggplant dishes. Uh, actually, guys, there are so many. Um, with the you know the uh, lady who has, who does the uh, our bulgur book, uh, we have this plan to make uh, eggplant dishes in Turkey. You can find over 150 different eggplant dishes. So. Um, Şey, baba ganoş is slightly different, but in some other cultures, uh, yeah, they make the baba ganoş very similar, or they call this baba ganoş. It's, it's again like, şey, um, some mixtures sometimes. Now, what I'm going to do is, uh, you can come, add this to here, like that. You can also add the yogurt to. Uh, Shake, but what I'm going to do, add this uh, butter again to here. Lola. They were asking for the cats. Huh, where they were? Uh -huh. Is she here? You can't show the cats. The cat is here. Hey. <laughs> Hi. She's called the small one, Kichik. She's called the small one. Now more pistachios, guys. Uh, these are raw pistachios. Uh, uh, from Antep region, they're, so they're more brightly uh, green. Uh, if you, and they're kind of raw, like low cash, uh, raw cashews kind of, it's, they're higher in taste and higher in uh, nutrition. Oh. And this is what we make baklava from. Would you like baklava recipe? That I would ask. Okay, so time to, ah, Okay. Ah, şey oldu. By the way. Evet, inan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Now. Um, yes. Yes, please, they say for the baklava recipe. Okay. I'm going to add a bit of olive oil to this. A tablespoon. Hello, Rebecca and Bahar. My wife and I have become healthier since we met you on YouTube. Thank you. We love some recipes from your Turkish channel in English. That has been uh, a topic for a while. Hey guys, uh, be patient. What I'm going, what I'm trying to do. Uh, okay, we have the recipes in uh, uh, the Turkish channel. But what I do when I do it for the world, uh, I'm trying to make it sometimes a little easier, sometimes adapted uh, to the global taste. Uh, and because um, in Turkey, like uh, some of the things are in a very certain way eaten, but they could be eaten in a different way. So I sometimes give the classical recipe. Uh, but for here, uh, this is like yeah. Turkish cooking plus Refika touch, making it 
amazingly better, maybe. Um, Refika, ja, for, for Refika. Or, okay. Who is your favorite Turkish actor? I don't know if this is uh, like best in acting or most handsome. Um, yeah, they. <laughs> you cannot separate them, guys. Come on. Yani, <laughs> when it's Kuanch Tatlı to this amazing guy. Uh, I and I think he's a great actor. Uh, yeah. uh, I think a movie or a series of Kıvanç Tatlıtuğ is coming to Netflix, so they will all be able to watch it. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, he's quite a thing. <laughs> uh, uh, şey, yuvarlak şey, yeni gelen tabakla. Uh, şey, uh, and uh, he's <laughs> when a handsome man is on the table, that's a, a different story. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, I like the idea of the eggplant book, by the way. Thank you, and I'm going to now taste it because the Ramadan is over. Shay, mm. it's already. Mmm. Mm. Bahar, you should come. I ordered a food processor to be able to make your falafel. Uh, great guys! Don't uh, forget to. Uh, mm. Uh, let it sit for uh, for a while. Uh, for Inam, yes, for Inam as well. Yes. Turkish films that is one of my favorite desserts. Ever tried it Kazanlı style? Wow, who is this? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't read his or her their name because it's in. Uh, Chinese or, other, uh, or Russian. Russian. Um, recently, we made kazandri for the Turkish channel, and it's this amazing thing with it, which has chicken inside, but it's a dessert. And uh, also, actually, we made it for this channel. And um, two days ago, two or three days ago, I woke up with this idea. But at the bottom, it's kazandibi. At the top, it's fırın sütlaş, and it's like baked on top and with browns and browns from the bottom uh, from here. So whoever this person is, uh, you should definitely when you come to Istanbul, you should definitely come. And uh, the hell to COVID, we will hug. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, they also ask your three favorites. Uh, American or universal actor? American. Huh? Uh, I think it's Ethan Hawke. Oh, the younger version of Ethan Hawke. Who is that? I mean, younger. Huh? <laughs> it's my age came up. <laughs> um, What's your birthday? I want to celebrate. Um, by the way, it's. Uh, I also love. Um, Shay, not Dust. Also love Dustin Hoffman, but. The other guy. Mm. <laughs> There are a lot of other guys. No, 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 no. Older. Uh, Robert, De Niro. Robert De Niro. Thank you. I love Robert De Niro. And uh, they are together in Great Expectations with Gwyneth Pastro. All-time favorite movie. And it's like... Um, it's, it's, it's like it's something. It moves me. So that's kind of it. Uh, and also Mary Strip. Actor, actress. If it's an actress, it's definitely Meryl Streep. And I recently learned uh, it was I don't know where uh, to read the script. Uh, she gets two hundred thousand dollars. Well, you learned it from call my agent. Call my agent. Yes, <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's uh, the Turkish version manager. I guess yes, and it was so good. It's so cool, isn't she? So cool. She is. Okay. So, yes, Allah. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Yes. Now I'm heating up because we're going to eat dinner. And for the dinner, we have köfte and we have mercimek çorbası, which is uh, the great uh, lentil uh, soup. That's oh. the lentil soup. That's the lentil soup. Uh, and... Uh, Mütebber, we are able. To, we are going to finish the mütebber, and yeah. köftes are here, and we have uh, the bayram pilav oh. by Burak Arpak. This is. Uh, Your mom sent us some dolma. How? Yeah, my mom sent us some dolma. Yes. And my father came like this and said, yani, uh, I don't know whether you'll enjoy, but we have dolma, so yeah, and." Now we're making all the rest. And 
That's an ordinary Saturday night. I, I love mad chocolate with bulgur, ever tried with rice and maybe chickpeas. Well, you cannot imagine with what she tried it with. <laughs> she tried it with kofte, she tried it with mantı. Yeah, for me, uh, the lentil soup is a base. It's an amazing base. And can turn into a thousand different uh, good things. If you watch the video, you'll understand. After watching your channel, I started studying Turkish history. Yes. Because you made it so interesting. Wow, what a place. What a variety of cultures in one little place. Thank you for introducing us. Thank you. Who, who, who is she? Ace. Ma Maria Ace. But the, all the comments, I'm going to uh, read it tonight, by the way. So I'm going to finish it with... Finish the mütebber, by the way. Anything else? Okay, so there are a lot of things. Uh, Shoot. Okay. Uh, will you be... Will you, the, the cat reminds me of Bar when she greets hello. <laughs> <laughs> She has the she has a cat side, guys. I have to tell you, uh, she's a cat in herself. Uh, she's a cat woman. Uh, you cannot be very close to her. She would just like do that. Uh, she, that I'm very sweet. <laughs> she is. Uh, she's very tough, by the way. Huh? Will you give a chewy chocolate cookie recipe any soon? Chewy chocolate cookie. Ah, we have a five-minute chocolate chip recipe on the channel. Uh, we do it from bread. I, that's amazing. That's amazing. You should try it. Or uh, 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 are you single? Mm, might be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So which actor you want? To Depends try. on who is asking, Polander. <laughs> <laughs> Which actor you want to try your food? Ah, wait, 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 wait. I think I have burned the butter a bit, guys. I have to tell you. Hope, hope the quality of the detail camera is good. And these are the pistachios and a bit of butter. And on top of it, I'm going to have some parsley. And that's it. You can have red peppers if you want, but you don't even have to do it. Burak, hmm. yeah. would you help me in the soups and etc.? I'm commenting now just to make sure you read my comments. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And uh, I have to tell you something. Uh, my mom uh, is from Cyprus and uh, she went through so much, and so we grew up uh, actually being afraid of so many things. For example, uh, I had this teacher, Mrs. Koronis. She was uh, Greek uh, origin American. We love work. <laughs> and uh, and the, like, and I am I am a geek in mathematics. I love mathematics, and she was my mathematics teacher in high school. And I was like shocked. Uh, I loved her so much, but she was Greek. Shall I love her so much? Anyways, and we have, as I, uh, I'm, I want to tell you this story because I, uh, when you're growing up, uh, you have these like tensions in different parts of the world from different re for different reasons. But again, I said love is love, uh, and then we were really in love with uh, each other. She, she helped. Uh, need to learn so many things and when she was going back to US we both cried when she was leaving uh, so uh, like uh, and when I first uh, started this channel I was like afraid whether people will like the food I do whether people will like my this cheesy me uh, and and I feel even more appreciated by you guys uh, than anyone and anywhere in the world. And I mean this Refika's Kitchen channel. And uh, and it's it's so precious. It's if I have hope, uh, if that fire is burning, it's because of you guys. And I really, really want to thank you. It's, it's I, I cannot thank you enough. 
Hi to Brock. Hello. 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 <laughs> they, uh, a, a couple of people asked uh, if we can show how to prepare, uh, prepare tea, surface tea, how to brew it. Uh, maybe we do it in a video one day. Yes, so we should. Detail. Yes. Um, uh, if that's it, we did the meter back, we can say bye. Uh, and uh, actually, will, will you be uh, showing us how to make helim one day? Helim. Okay, guys. Helim. Simit. Uh, tea. Tea. Baklava. 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 And more, more, more eggplants. More live stream. Uh, Next time, I want to do my live stream. I cannot see you guys. I don't like this kind of way. By the way, I should, I should tell I, you. I promise I will put Yeah, I need a screen. screen. Yeah. These are the donuts. Uh, let me show you the details. I have burned some of the kiftes. Ah, put the kids away. Allah, Allah, one thing. Uh, here is the mukhtar. Now let's okay. just eat it. And the kiftes. Burak's pilaf. And the dolma. And inam. And the tikka. <laughs> And Burak. And that's uh, that's our uh, uh, core team. Uh, Yaz is not here, unfortunately. Is not here. Uh, that's us. Uh, hope you like us. Uh, and if you have enjoyed, uh, um, thank you. Thank you for everything. Have a nice day. Take care of yourself. Don't forget, goodness is contagious. We love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and the kiftes are done. Super. Come on. Didn't you? Yes. You said bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>